All right, folks, welcome back. So back out here in the red pine forest, as you can see, I got a whole bunch of trees that are down on the ground. What I did, and I probably did this a few months ago, was I went through and I tried to selectively harvest trees to open up the canopy. So the goal here is to get fewer trees per hectare. Reason being is fewer trees per hectare means the ones that are remaining, so the ones you see here, have the potential to grow to a larger diameter. If I have a whole bunch of trees in one hectare, the likelihood of them all growing to a big size is quite small because they're competing for things like water, nutrients, sunlight, etc. So I'm out here today because I got some cleanup to do. I cut all these trees down, thinned them out, and as you can tell, there's a good chunk of sun coming in. What I got to do now is get this cleaned up, cut them to length so that I can get them out of here and allow for all the understory to start to grow up. If we have a look here, it shouldn't take us too long. We got some little species here, some little uh, little uh, plants coming up. I don't know what that is off the, off the top of my head, but uh, hopefully we can get some diversity going up here so that we can start to get a bit more wildlife coming through. And maybe in 10, 15 years, we'll start to get a, a mixed wood forest as opposed to a uh, sort of a monoculture of all these red pines. So that's the goal out here today. Kind of a nice day. I think it's supposed to rain for a few days after today. So going to get some work done. Check out the, uh, the 435, the Husky uh, 435. I think I'm going to use that today as opposed to the, uh, the 555 that I normally do. So let's talk more work. Here we go. sweating now boys and girls just heading up to the ATV here I need a drink bad I'm out of breath this is hard work believe it or not if you don't do this for a living throwing that chainsaw around isn't easy so especially for me I need a break from time to time anyways that's gonna do it for me today what you see out here is tons of red pine tons of work so the next step for me with all the pieces I now have behind me is to get the tractor up here with the chipper get some of this material chipped if it's of any size I may take it over to the mill, but likely I'll either cut it up for wood or throw it through the chipper. So as you can see behind me, I got an endless supply of work for me. So next time you see me, maybe out here, maybe at the mill, but I'll likely be out in the red pine forest. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.